Um, let me ask uh, Amir. Amir, uh, you've done the deployment for uh, session test application, am I correct? Correct, yeah. And you've deployed the application to server MS1. Uh, yeah, we also deployed it to the virtual, yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's MS1. Okay, okay. So, uh, question number one, is the application currently deployed? Yes, it is, right? And it is targeted to, can you just check the targets? Yeah, let me just see. Uh, I think we're trying to do target it to the virtual host. Let me just deploy it to MS1 then. Yes, try to deploy it to MS1. Okay, now that and, and now try to access the application on MS1, please. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold yeah. on. I have a question for you, Amit. Okay. Um, now for deploying the application instead of virtual host to MS1, whatever you did is uh, the you know is is not the best way out. Uh, we've got a better option of simply checking on the targets and changing the targets to deploy it to whichever server we want. Oh, okay. okay. Does, All right. does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, just to finish. And now access the application in the new web page. Yeah, here we are. Okay. Now, um, go to MS1 server uh, home directory. The managed server home directory which will have the MS1 server directory. Yeah, I'm on the, yeah, I'm on the managed server home right now. Yes, go to MS1 because that's the server. Go inside servers, yes, and now MS1. Yes, and open the stage directory, STAG. Okay, do you see the session test .war? Yeah. Okay, so it means that whenever you deploy the application, it will automatically get copied onto the stage directory of the managed server, whichever one you are targeting to. Okay? Okay. Now, you can let me share my screen okay. where I will try to explain you the three different modes of deployment. Okay. Okay, this particular server is MS1 and this one is MS2. Now, this server Now I have this as the admin server. Okay. Now the application which is session test dot war. This this would be my application. I'm just giving it the name. Session test 
Okay, this is my application. Yeah. No. When I when okay, so let me do one thing. Select. This is my Unix box. Okay. Which has the admin server. Select. Session just okay. So from my admin server console, what I did was I took this. I browsed to the admin server console to this particular application. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I targeted this application to MS1. Okay. And when I targeted this application to MS1, what happened was this application came here in the stage directory. Does that make sense? Yeah. This application flew from here onto the managed server one. Whether it is on the same machine, which is in our case, if this is WLS one, this can be WLS two. Okay, or vice versa. So it 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 went over the network, right? Yeah. And it came here. Now there are three modes of deployment. The first mode is called no stage. stage. The second one is called stage and the third one is called external stage. Okay, now uh, before I explain to you all the three, uh, fire a, a Linux command on manage server one home directory and search for uh, what's the name of the welcome file? Is it index.jsp? So search for index.jsp. Please show your screen and do that. Okay. No, you have to come out. Come, come back, come back to the home directory, MS1. Uh, should you go further up yeah. or? A PWD? I, I think you're good. Yes. All right. Okay. Now you will see uh, which is the one which you have deployed right now. The first, the second, or the third. You find three index.jsps. Uh, I, I think it should be this one because the other ones it, have it. some date. All right. So you see, it is there inside a temporary folder, index.jsp. Now, just move to this folder called till war. Instead of index.jsp, just move till war. War folder. Oh, sorry. Um, which one? Uh, you yeah, talking about yeah, this one? Yes. Yes, okay. yes, until war, until the war folder, until the war okay, folder. The folder. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, no, hold on, there's a dot, yeah, that's fine, yeah, now just do ls, okay, yeah. you see index.jsp uh, 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 and uh, logout.jsp, now if you open the session test, uh, 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 okay, uh, now move inside the, the web INF. Okay, just do ls. Okay, move inside the uh, classes. ls. It's empty. Okay, it's empty, right? Now just stay here and log in to uh, the uh, JSP page. Just stay here. Yeah, just stay here. Log into the JSP page. 
Yes. Add click here to add numbers. Two plus. Hold on, hold on. Don't add. Don't add. Okay. Just, just do an ls command over there. Ls hyphen lt up. On the yes here. Ls hyphen lt. Okay. Come back. Okay. Add add two numbers. Okay. Go back. Yeah. Come back. Still empty. Okay. It doesn't show anything. Can, can mm -hmm. you come back for the? Can you come back for the? Can can you come back for the and see if there are additional files that have been added? Yeah. Just come back. Move one directly up and just browse. You know, if you find something new. Okay. Basically, the date timestamp would have changed. Um, I no, I don't see still. Okay, come back for the PWD. Yeah, no. Yeah. Uh, I think th this is the place where it got added. JSP servlet. No. I've What's the date? 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 Command dat. Dat. Yes. It should be. Eight sixteen. Right. Yeah. yeah. Come back. There, there, there would be some files for eight sixteen. Just check. Just do ls hyphen ltr and see all the folders. There's no one eight sixteen. Come back for the ls hyphen ltr. Yeah, I did that. No, it doesn't look like anything has changed since uh, 806. <laughs> okay, can you do PWD? Okay, move, move out. Okay. Yeah. Can you move inside WL internal? Yes, yeah, all old stuff. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can leave that. You can leave that. Okay. Uh, can you open a fresh browser and try to access the application again? Keep. Uh, you want to log out. Okay. Just yeah. click here saying you want to log out. Okay. Yeah, and do you have uh, this thing, uh, Internet Explorer instead of Firefox? Uh, I don't, but I should be able to do the same thing from here, right? Or no? Yes. I should do that. Okay, let me try that. Okay, click here to add number. Add two numbers. Now see see if something has changed with respect to the date timestamp. <coughs> no, I like I don't see any changes in the. Okay, okay. If you don't see, the, uh, search for uh, validate star star. Yeah. But uh, it should be case sensitive because I think B is capital. Okay. I said no. no. I would work with grep, not with finance. Right. Okay. Anyways, we'll 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 try to figure that out. But uh, what I wanted to tell you is, <coughs> uh, what happens is this MS one. Th there is also a cache directory. Can you just check if there's a cache directory in the internal storage? Um, okay. Where, where should I check? I am here. Manage server home. Okay. Servers. 
Oh, sorry, I'm on two. That's why. Okay, hold on. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on minus over one. Mm -hmm. and less hyponatremia? Yeah, there's a cache. Yeah. Okay. Diagnostics. But this is from April 20th. Yeah, I think I think that there is a command to list all the files. Uh, you can do that on TMP ten. Okay. Okay. See, the, the, uh, the, there can be one more reason um, uh, by which we can slowly diagnose this. But anyways. Uh, what I want you to do is, uh, Ganesh has left the meeting. Can you just check if he joined in? Mm, okay, just uh, might have dropped out here. Yeah. 